Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a seamless loop when animating the fractal noise effect or any effect that has the evolutions property. So instead of having that annoying jump or glitch that happens when the CTI reaches the end of the timeline and starts back at the beginning, you will be left with a perfectly seamless animation that can loop forever. To add the fractal noise effect, I'm going to first create a new solid layer. So I can just right click in the layers panel, go to new solid, or come to the top menu, click on layer, new, solid, or use the must know keyboard shortcut, command or control Y. I'll call it fractal noise. I'll make it comp size. Black is fine. I'll click okay. Then I'm gonna go to the effects and presets panel. I'll click in the search field and start typing out fractal. There you will see fractal noise under the noise and grain category. I'm just gonna drag it right onto that solid layer. I'll select the fractal noise solid layer in the layers panel. Then go up to effect controls and I'll just twirl open the fractal noise to reveal all of its properties. And to animate fractal noise and to create the seamless loop, we're gonna be animating the evolution property. First, I'm gonna drag the CTI to the beginning of the timeline. I'm gonna make sure the evolution is set to zero then I'm gonna click on the stopwatch next to evolution to add a keyframe. I'll then drag the CTI to the end of my timeline. So I'm just gonna click in here and enter a value of two. I'll tap U to bring up the keyframe. So now you can see I have a keyframe at the beginning set to zero and the last keyframe at the end of my timeline is set to two. So in between these two keyframes, I'm telling After Effects that I wanted to go through two full evolutions. I'll tap the spacebar to preview the animation and you'll see when the CTI reaches the end of the timeline to go back to the beginning, we're gonna get that little jump or glitch. So here we go, spacebar to preview, animation looks good, CTI is getting towards the end and there's the jump. To fix this, we're gonna twirl open the property below called evolution options and check this box cycle evolution. Now checking that box is doing most of the heavy lifting. In fact, when I tap the spacebar now, you'll think it's a perfect seamless loop as we're not getting that big jump at the end. It might be good enough for most cases, but if you wanna make it a perfect seamless loop, we're gonna take a couple additional steps. Below cycle evolution, you will see cycle and revolutions. You are going to change this number to the same number you have on the last keyframe for evolution. So I set my last keyframe to two evolutions, so I'm gonna change the cycles to two. The cycle amount is saying, how many full evolutions do you want to occur before the animation resets? And a neat trick when you're trying to find the looping part of an animation or when you just want to compare the values of two keyframes is to take snapshots. So with my CTI over the first keyframe, I'm gonna click on the camera icon, which is going to take a snapshot. I'll go to the last keyframe and I'll click on the icon next to the camera. That's going to show the snapshot. And when I click that, notice nothing changed. That is telling me that the first keyframe and the last keyframe are identical. And to further illustrate this point, I created a marker at the one evolution mark. I'll change the cycle to one. That is saying, I want the animation to reset every full evolution. So now when I take a snapshot at the beginning, if I go to the center and click the show snapshot, notice no change because After Effects reset after a full evolution. And when I go to the last keyframe, it should be the same. When I click show snapshot, no change. I'm gonna change it back to two. We have one more step to make this a perfect seamless loop because the first frame and the last frame of our animation are identical, we just need to move the last keyframe forward by one frame. So I'll zoom way in, I'll press the command key on a Mac, control if you're on Windows, tap the right arrow key to move forward one frame, and then just move that last keyframe forward by one frame. And now when I tap the space bar, we have a perfectly seamless, endlessly looping fractal noise animation on the evolution property. And my name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.